It's Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2020 and in this particular video we will talk about groove operation and I'm going to continue from the last video where I left at the third operation which is the lathe finish and in this video I'm just going to continue from there so let's get started so in this video I will show you how to use the groove operation so we go to turning for the same we click on groove itself so now they are asking us to choose for the chains we can also select multiple chains if we have multiple grooves but in this case we just have one groove so we click on chain we click ok so now they are asking us to select the chain we select the starting point or in this case what I modified the geometry was I made small chamfers all you need to do is just make small chamfers of any small particular portion most of the time it is given to us inside the drawing itself so you need not to worry about it or you can just pick up any random chamfers of a very small uh, edge whichever you want to so we go to turning we click on groove we click ok so the starting point is going to be the starting of the chamfer make sure the arrows are directing towards the bottom and the ending point is the other chamfer itself we click ok so now we, we need to select the tool we are going to select the groove tool as a, as a cutting tool as well we have many options that we can choose from but we are going to stick with the first one which is going to be the cutting tool as well we can double click and modify the parameters according to whatever the parameters are given to us in the drawing sometimes it is given to us or it is depending on the machine and the tools that you are having inside the workshop you can make the parameters change you can also change the holder and other parameters as well I'm just going to keep them default in my case I just changed the angle C which is 0 0.016 which uh, I was told once when I used to study so in groove shape parameters you, you can if you want to you, you can click on use stock for the outer boundary well it's not necessary but yes it is always better to choose the stock material so that we know how much to cut we go to groove rough parameters so the stock clearance you can keep it to be 2 the step amount uh, well by default it comes out to be a percentage so 75% is good enough back off is basically the tool how much the tool will back off or move after it cuts off one complete cut so back off it can be anywhere from 5 to 10% I let I'm just going to keep it as 7 because that's what I generally use and everything else is going to be the same we go to finishing we are finishing I'm going to keep the step over to be let's say 1.5 it can be kept between 1.5 to 2 anywhere because step over is basically how much amount of cut that you want to cut in one shot and you want to exceed after that particular cut has been made so I would like to have the exceedation of 1.5 because my groove itself the entire groove is 5 millimeters so you need to make sure that these parameters are selected on the basis of the parameters of the drawing itself so it is very important to take this into consideration similarly for the overlap that how much do we want to overlap after each pass so I'm just going to keep the overlap itself of 1.5 then everything else is going to be the same uh, so yeah lead in lead out because our tool is going to come from from this particular angle so let me show you once so our tool is going to be here from this angle so negative 135 degrees okay length uh, 2 is okay as well but I would say let's go with 1 similarly second pass we know that it is going there so I can choose this direction the length to be one let's say 1.5 for both the cases and then click ok and I try to click ok so there is the operation itself so I can see in the back, back plot how it should look like I click ok and I increase the speed just for the tool to come in faster and there you go there is the tool so ok it cuts pretty well and you can see in the there you go it clears up the entire material that was left behind 
and we have the smooth finishing so we get a perfect profile that we are looking for so let's select all the operations and verify in actual we click right click isometric make sure to uh, turn on the collision and just click the color loop for color verification as well you can always reduce or increase the speed well avoid this this is just master cam error because I'm pretty sure that we haven't made any error with respect to the parameters so it can be a master cam bug but definitely we can go once again and have a look if there might be any problem but in the backlog backlog uh, you were able to see that there was no problem so I don't think there is any problem but still uh, so finishing 1.5 that's okay 1.5 the overlap is okay the lead in lead out is good enough 1.5 each and the rough parameter itself stock clearance back plot stock to leave is okay uh, let's try with this it keeps the uh, walls smooth well it shouldn't have any factor view stock for outer boundary let's try it well these parameters shouldn't affect at all but still I just want to verify because these two three factors are the only one that I've basically changed and if something is wrong then these are going to be responsible but I don't see this might be might be it can be a glitch itself I'm not pretty sure but the parameters that I entered I'm confident with that that yes those parameters are right just let me know in comment if you get the same problem then I will make sure that I figure it out what might be the problem is and share it with you guys in future thanks for watching this is it for this particular video thank you